Betty White's cause of death revealed, agent denies she got booster days before. Betty White died less than three weeks before her 100th birthday as a result of natural causes, her agent said Monday. Betty died peacefully in her sleep at her home, the agent, Jeff Witches, who is also White's close friend, said in a statement to People. Witches also shot down a debunked report that claimed White had just gotten a COVID-19 booster shot on December 28. People are saying her death was related to getting a booster shot three days earlier, but that is not true. She died of natural causes, he told the magazine. People are saying her death was related to getting a booster shot three days earlier, but that is not true. She died of natural causes. In a new interview with Page Six, White's Mama's Family co-star Vicki Lawrence revealed that the cultural icon called out late husband Alan Ludden's name moments before she died. I texted Carol, Burnett, and said, this just sucks. It's just horrible to see the people you love so much go away, Lawrence, 72, shared. Carol wrote back and said, I know, I know. I spoke to Betty's assistant, who was with her when she passed, and she said the very last word out of her mouth was Alan. White was a Hollywood fixture for more than eight decades and became a household name thanks to her roles in The Golden Girls and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. News of the 99-year-old's death on December 31st broke after LAPD officers responded to a 9.30 a.m. call at her home in Brentwood, California. Witches later confirmed that his beloved client had died, telling people on New Year's Eve, even though Betty was about to be 100, I thought she would live forever. I will miss her terribly and so will the animal world that she loved so much. I don't think Betty ever feared passing because she always wanted to be with her most beloved husband, Alan Ludden. She believed she would be with him again. The eight-time Emmy winner's death came shortly after she spoke to people for an issue celebrating what would have been her 100th birthday. White told the outlet that she was in such good health, later quipping in such good health. Fans and friends alike paid tribute to the late entertainer, who held the record for the longest TV career in Hollywood. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden also expressed sadness over White's passing, with the POTUS calling her a lovely lady. That's a shame, he told reporters. That's a shame. Who didn't love Betty White? The First Lady chimed in. We're so sad. 